Just five more minutes. Oh. oh, yes. I'm getting up. I suppose you want your breakfast. Well, come on, then. Let's go and pick some cabbages for you. to get that emu. <laughs> Redford! You dim-witted egg-timer! Is my bath ready yet? Just coming, Mrs. Grotbags. And may I say what a pleasure, what an unexpected delight it was for me to be given the simple task of running a bath for you. Yes, and me too, your Imperial Gashometer. And it wasn't my fault. What wasn't your fault? I told him not to put any in. Put any what in? Oh, Mrs. Grotbags. It's very simple. I thought, since you were having a bath anyway, why not go the whole hog, so to speak? And I added just a drop, just a smidgen of violet and rose bath oil. Oh, Redford, you emptied the whole bottle. You said you needed to use the lot or it wouldn't hide the pong. <laughs> What did you do that for? For free. Now listen, I'm not going to have a bath. That's all part of my plan. I've been reading this book, see? And it says here that emus double their weight when they get wet. Oh, well, it's just as well she didn't have a bath then, or she'd have gone right through the floor. I heard that. That's very personal. Now, why is it that we can never catch that emu? Oh, please, Mrs. Grotbanks, your supreme solidified jelly. It's because he runs so fast. Precisely, Croc. If Emu was suddenly wet, he'd be so heavy, he couldn't run at all fast. Oh, yes. And while he was so slow... We'd rush in and grab him before that streaky bonehead rod could do anything about it. Oh, the thought of grabbing a wet emu. Yes, I know. What joy. If I ruled the world. Ah. <laughs> Get the hover grot ready, Redford. We're going on a mission. It's no good staying out here all day, emu. What we need is a scarecrow. Let's go and make one. Oh, Mrs. Grubbanks, your high cheddar cheese. I don't see why we need to bring this tub with us. It's overloading the hovergrot. Oh, I agree with Croc, Mrs. Grotbags. It's bad enough being on this thing without an abnormal load on board. Oh, uh, a present company accepted, of course. Belt up, you two. We need that tub of water to pour over that emu. Otherwise, how else will he get wet? I could see, Mrs. Grotbags, your imperial throat lozenge. Yes. I could sing my rain song. Your rain song? Don't be so wet. You can't make it rain by singing. Oh, I beg your pardon, Mrs. Grotbags. But it doesn't matter what Croc sings, it always sounds like stormy weather. Do you know what I like about you, Redford? No. Absolutely nothing. So belt up. <laughs> I finished the scarecrow emu, so close your eyes and get ready for a surprise. All right, you can look now. 
If that doesn't scare the crows away, nothing will. <laughs> the garden's a bit dry, Emu. As soon as we put up the scarecrow, we better give it a drop of water. Oh, Mrs. Gobags, your industrial pollution. I can see Emu. Right. Let's put the plan into action. Stand by to beam me down, Croc. Standing by, your almighty dirigible. Oh, oh, look, Mrs. Grotbags. Look, you're already down there. What are you talking about? Let me see. Oh, no, Mrs. Grotbags, no. Don't lean forward. The... Ah! have been washed and are dry now, Mrs. Grotbacks. Yes, and if no one tells you, you'll never know that I put too much starch on your hat by mistake, so it would be a bit stiff at first, but it really wasn't my fault because I was just putting in the starch when I noticed it said special offer on the packet and I just tipped it up to read and the whole lot came out. Starch? Oh, of course, that's it, starch. Am I going to get walloped for a week? Walloped? Of course not. You should be rewarded. Rewarded? Well, uh, uh, Mrs. Grotbags, it was my idea to put the starch on your hat. And a jolly good idea it was, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! Redford, get the hover grot ready. We're going on a mission. Well, Emu, I suppose there's good news and bad news. We don't have a scarecrow anymore. But Grotbags spilt so much water everywhere, we don't have to worry about the garden being too dry. Funny, though. I wonder what she was up to with that tub of water. But, Mrs. Grotbags, your imperial fertiliser, I don't understand. You're not going to make Emu very wet or very heavy with just one bucket of water. Aha! That's the beauty of the plan. I don't have to get him very wet, because I put two packets of starch in the bucket, and when I cover him with it, he'll be too stiff to move! And a bucket of water isn't as heavy as a tub of water, so there's no fear of us toppling over. Right. Oh no, Mrs. Grotbanks, I, I don't think it'll work. Why don't you let me sing my rain song so we can be sure? Oh, belt up, you imitation handbag. There's no such thing as a rain song. It was really mean of that rotten old Grotbanks to break our scarecrow. Now we're going to have to march up and down till night time to keep the crows away. But there is a rain song. i show you. It's raining, it's pouring. I'm singing in the raindrops. Keep falling on my head. so I I thought I'd drop in. <laughs> well, I must be going now. Oh, oh, I'm stuck! Oh no, the starch is working! I can't move, I'm as stiff as a board! Well, that serves you right for being so rotten. And as you're going to stick around here for a while, you can take the place of the scarecrow you broke while we go in for some tea. Come on, Emu, I'm famished! Croc! Redford! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Help! I can't move! And I want to go home! Nothing ever goes right for me! 